welcome to this week's vlog. For anyone who is new here, I'm Jessica. This is my wife, Claudia. Oh. Hi. We're British, obviously. And we are currently doing a seven week tour of Malaysia. Okay, I can't lie to you. It is actually Thursday. But we spent the first two days of this week editing the Thailand videos, both of which you can watch by clicking the card above. We're going to the link in the description. And then yesterday I was just generally feeling poo because I had my period and of course, that means the migraines. But the funny thing about my period migraines, and actually just my chronic pain in general, it would be hurting anyway, whether I'm in the apartment doing absolutely nothing, or I'm out and about having fun. So I decided, let's do that. We're gonna go shopping. The first thing we're going to do is go and get our hair done. Someone needs a trim. Yeah, I'm getting mine trimmed. Quite long. I like my hair like this. I like my natural ringlets and so on. Yes. That kind of like unbrushed look because right. I just don't brush it. Nine times out of ten, when I go to hairdressers and I come out, I preferred it when I went in because I just like to style it my way. And when I say style it, I mean like I just let it dry. Or I tie it in a bun and let it dry on my head, and then when I let it go, it goes wavy. Anyway, we'll see. I'm growing my hair, obviously. So I'm just gonna get my roots done. I really don't want them to trim it, but I have a fear that they're gonna tell me that the ends are dead. I bought myself a magazine. How to improve your photography. Anyway, I thought I'd get this and read it in the hairdressers because they always only provide really girly magazines with loads and loads of adverts of handbags and shoes and clothes <laughs> and like what makeup is best if you have this type of face. And I'm like, whatever. Fastest and best haircut I've had for a long time. <laughs> we just got our hair done. Let's take a moment to appreciate Claudia and all her glorious. I know, it's actually, ironically, I came out thinking, ah, oh, this is probably one out of the ten times it's okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, you can't tell from this angle, but everywhere you can't see still has roots. Yes, it was entirely pointless. I do a better job apparently, because I'm the one who does it normally at home. I did say we were going to do it last night, but we were tired, but I was just going to do it for you, which is what we're going to do anyway. Well, now we have to get more dye. Plus point though is this just gave me a good moment to plug the fact that Clara and I in the future are going to make a video all about maintaining your hair when it's dyed because people ask me that a lot. Oh and we asked everyone that in the community tab which you should definitely go and check out. Look at the community tab. I will post stuff there. Do you know what that is called? What? It's the parrotfish. The parrotfish. It's got like a beak. Yeah, and it's colourful. Glutinous rice flour, water, potato starch, tapioca starch, canola oil. Permitted colouring. No bad colouring. Just the allowed ones. Travel bubby. Are they Well, to be fair, the faces are made from the same mould. So yeah. <laughs> Jessie's feeling a bit sad. I feel sad because I'm full of hormones that make a girl feel sad. Basically, it's her time of the month. <laughs> she can't handle it. <laughs> Does anyone know which are the best hormone control like pills to oh, take yeah. that won't make her feel hormonal and she can stop I want feeling to like this? I want a pill that you don't get a period because yeah. I don't need that in my life. I just want my migraines to go away. Just in like actual agony. <laughs> oh, it hurts so much. And so I just want to like get lots of, I want to get lots and lots of clothes really cheaply and then feel really good about myself. <laughs> this is what I need. I'm so this is confusing you. <laughs> you should, oh my god, this is really bending my mind. <gasps> I think we found some clothes that I like. Maybe. It's not your normal style. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure where this skirt goes. If I pull it, the waistband down to my waist, I think you're gonna get demonetized, guys. It's not gonna, it's not gonna end well, is it? I might be a bit tall for Asian clothes. <laughs> Yo. 
Hello. We are going to a night market. Another one. Another one, yeah. A Malaysia one. A Basa Malam. Which will hopefully have some very exciting things, including a new Joby stick for Ooh, this camera. This one is looking a little bit tired and his legs are all just like One of the legs, every time I out. move it, it just comes off. Yeah. Like... But anyway, no, what we're going to do is get <laughs> some cheap mock-up. Mock-up? Like, spoof. I'm too... Okay. Anyway. I've had a migraine for three Whatever. days. Whatever. We're going to get some this. fake Joby sticks. What other things we're going to buy? Maybe some knickers. <laughs> Essentials. Some knickers. I actually got an amazing bra from the first yeah. night market we went to in Thailand. It was only two pounds and it was the best bra I've ever bought. Huh? Your knickers are made for a child. I've just got a small bum, okay? Well, yeah. Oh, okay. So, Apparently I should cover more of my bum. Oh, I no. I mean, I love your bum. But I just think, you know, the bright primary coloured underwear in like the little girly panty shape. I just don't like spending Maybe. money on things that don't need to be like, that's why I'm buying my new knickers from a market. As the person who sees your underwear, <laughs> I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. I've got my uh, other camera ready. I just want to get some nice photos that encapsulate Malaysia and then get them framed and put them around our house in England and also maybe around the flat here. Can my friend come? Can I come to the market pool please? <laughs> or sugar cane drink. My aunt was like, oh look, they sell gum jai soy, your favourite. Because when I was little, I made a song about all of my favourite food in Malaysia. It went a bit like this. Gum jai soy. Jai bao. Jai bao. And I can't remember the rest, but... <laughs> That's how I taught myself some simple Cantonese. <laughs> market was absolutely amazing. Wait, should I turn this fan off? I should turn the fan off. <clears throat> so yesterday's market was really, really good. It was the market that I wanted to see in Thailand. It wasn't just touristy, tatty stuff, which the Thailand markets were. But we got amazing fruit uh, that was so cheap and is now absolutely filling our fridge. Our fridge is full of weird fruit. And I managed to get some nice bows for my hair. I had a really lovely dinner and it was a really just a really nice experience. It was really good. However, shopping at the department stores yesterday, not so great. As you can see, I am wearing the same dress as yesterday. Not only because this dress isn't actually dirty, so why not? But also just because I don't have enough clothes. I know, I know that's the type of thing, of course I would say that. But I genuinely didn't actually bring that many clothes with me. Uh, swimming costumes on the other hand. <laughs> People keep asking on Instagram, how many swimming costumes do you have with you exactly? Ten. Yeah. Yes. Clothes are really cheap here, um, and they're really good quality as well, and underwear especially is much better buying out here because it does not need to be as expensive as in England. So, yeah, and then kind of apparently we just forgot that although Claudia looks absolutely amazing, in everything she has tried on here and has the perfect body for it. I do not. Everything here is quite, it's sort of cut for more of an Asian body type and 
the fashions for tops and so on, see very straight down and that is just not, that's just not me. <sighs> so today we're going to Sunway, which is about apparently a 15 minute drive away, gonna get an Uber and is a much bigger mall, has a larger range of stuff, and I'm super excited because we went there when we were here two years ago and they have this whole area that is just weird street fashion, is the best way to describe that. And I got some really good vintage skirts there, very big skirts, very big. And they have sort of Harajuku stuff, they have some Lolita stuff, they have different different looks and fashion styles and I'm really excited. I want to get some weird handbags. So that's really fun. And we're, we are dressed ready for the aircon because this is a very important thing when you're shopping in Malaysia. You need to know, bring clothes for the cold. Weird but true, it's freezing. Every shop you go with is freezing. It's genuinely freezing in here. It is, it is. But just stopping to get my cake light, slowest service ever and then I turned around and I saw an amazing shop <gasps> twice the size of a regular human. Clearly, 50% of you guys are American, my analytics tell me. So is this really boring for you? Are you like, oh, I've seen that before? Because all of my British people I know are like, ah. Let's go to Asian Avenue. Asian Avenue. Oh yeah, first we're gonna try and find an external hard drive. So exciting. A bit lost right now, but the great thing is, it's a circle. No, it's not a circle. It's a square, and the square means we eventually get back to where we want to be. Hello, Claudia is now holding the camera for me, even though it looks like I am. I'm not. <laughs> I'm in so much pain. Oh. Shopping does to you. Oh. We bought stuff, guys. Warning, I'm gonna show you Brian. Be prepared or skip ahead. It's not looking that bad, it's a bit mangy. Mangy. Mangy? Sorry, are you trying to say mangy? Mangy. Or manky? Both. Oh, pills. <laughs> pills. Liquid and pills. There's some non alcoholic drink again. <laughs> It's like shooting, drilling, stop, stabbing pain from my toesies all the way to my hips. I don't have a cutesy word for hips. Yeah, hipsies. <laughs> from my toesies to my hipsies. No, that doesn't quite work. Cut to us trying on our clothes.
one of only 300 made. They glow in the dark, how amazing is that? Oh, they're so good. Then you agree, Fred? So, Claudia has asked me to open her crisp packet because this is what she did when she last opened it. This is her idea of resealing. <laughs> you can't just duct tape things together. You know, for someone with two degrees, this is either ingenious or idiotic. Right. Well, they are still fresh. I will give you that, they are still fresh. house of Claudia's aunt and uncle. That was a really non-English way to say that, wasn't it? At the house of. We're having a nice dinner together because it's the last day of Chinese New Year. So celebration dinner. I'm really looking forward to it. Why is the rice blue? I put some flowers, special flowers, colour flowers. Oh. So Using a small child. <laughs> Pushing Look in. at this. What the hell is that? <laughs> no, no, no. What's this? In What's my this? hair. Wow. What's happened to your head, Claudia? Claudia, as a bridesmaid, looking so pleased with herself. It's Claudia <laughs> giving some good face right there. That's beautiful. Okay. I got no teeth. <laughs> got no teeth. No, good. no front teeth. <laughs> oh, lovely. And this is this is Claudia's smile. That's right. <laughs>